Hey there, Internet. So, Saturday night rant time, a little later than I would have planned, but... Anyway. Let's talk about Orwellian crap that's been going on lately. <clears throat> hey, Twitter. If I can't call somebody who gives sexually explicit materials to kids and tries to introduce materials to them to introduce them to to give them the idea that they might be trans or gay or want to be a drag queen. If I can't call them a groomer, what am I supposed to call them? Because you banned Tim Pool for it. And wondered how long before they start banning libs of TikTok for re in a retroactive manner. On Rumble, they had a video called... Uh, Groomers being groomers. It was a compilation video, which included drag queens performing in front of kids. So there's been all this. You know, let's redefine stuff. Back to, go. I mean, this isn't really even that new. When Bush was president, it was let's call. Let's say he's packing the court because he was appointing conservative justices to fill normal vacancies. And then they did that again with Trump. It never was packing the court for Obama to put liberal justices to fill normal vacancies because it wasn't packing the court when Bush or Trump were filling normal vacancies. Just because you don't like the definition, the ideology doesn't make it, uh, doesn't make it packing the court. Packing the court is when you say, there's too many conservatives on the court so let's add four justices to make it balanced in favor of liberals that's packing the court okay because and why does this matter definitions of words matter uh article i read recently somebody saying the complaining about the uh supreme court with the originalists being in control well originalism has a meaning reason and it's their only, there's a reason it should only be on there. You can't have consistent re reading of the law if you don't have a consistent meaning to the words. Yes, definitions can change, but if we're not agreeing on a definition in the here and now, which is what, you know, why we would go and get a dictionary and say, what does this word mean? You can't communicate. You can't make a decision effectively. If I say... That's you can have a cat, and you bring in, in a raccoon to my apartment. <clears throat> the apartment I'm renting you, <clears throat> not that I have rentals. And I say, yeah, you can't have a raccoon. You say, no, I. That's a cat. They're two different things. That doesn't work. If you say, that's a that woman there, somebody we'd like to hire. Or have a, this woman woman wants to compete in sports. You're meaning some some kind of person, but now they want to not even be able to define a woman. Uh, Katanji Brown Jackson. I've already said she shouldn't have been put on the Supreme Court because she was either lying about during her confirmation hearings about the definition of woman that she did know. Or she was too incompetent to know because 15 minutes later, she's sitting there saying, I talk about Roe v. Wade securing a woman's right to an abortion. Woman means something. It means an adult human female. That is what the dictionary says. But instead of just trying to change the dictionary, no, the people at Merriam-Webster are in the tank for the woke left. They tried to change the definition of female to the opposite of male, or a person who identifies with female characteristics. No, a fe female it has a, needs to have a de consistent definition, and by group you know organizations like Merriam-Webster are making themselves a joke. So we need, we can't just say opposite of male because the definition of male is the opposite of female. That doesn't work. I have a right hand. I have a left hand. You can't know what the right hand is unless you know what right means. Which dictionary says, the side that is to the east when facing north. 
They tried to redefine racism. One of the new definitions was a system of so social or organization based on race, based on racism and designed to uphold its principles. You used literally the word to define itself. That doesn't work. Okay. When you start changing words, then no one can agree, and then you can just do whatever the hell you want and say it is whatever the hell you want. And that's what's going on here. Instead of just debating and saying, this is not okay, we'll just ban groomers and say it's a slur. We'll just change the definition of a woman to whatever the hell we want. And then we'll let a, man, a biological male, junk intact, compete with women. And it seems like all really weird philosophical stuff until you realize the White House, is, the colloquial definition of a recession is two consecutive quarters of negative economic growth. That's been used for years. It's a little more technical, supposedly. Vestapedia said it what I found several things. It's a, a broad-based slowdown. And it looks at, you know, what's real income, what's employment. Usually you don't know you're in a recession until afterwards. But two consecutive quarters of negative economic growth is a pretty clear sign. We certainly are not in good good economic times, even though employment is rising. I went to the Bureau of Labor Statistics website. I went and called up the old February 2020 report and the July 2022 report. Unemployment, total employment is still below February 2020 with a bigger population. Employment to population ratio is down. Unemployment is just slightly up from there, but labor force participation is down pretty substantially because your unemployment rate only counts the people that are actively looking for work or already employed. It doesn't count the person like, you know, so, you know this, the gal that's a stay-at-home mom. It doesn't count the retired person that retired early. It doesn't count the person that says, eh, I don't want a job. Doesn't count any of that. Inflation is at up near the upper end of not going double digits if you use the current measure, and it would be well into double digits using the 1980s measure. But they say, oh, well, consumer spending is kept pace with inflation. Yeah, part one of the things driving inflation. But, in, but wages are not keeping up with inflation. The consumer spending is only continuing to keep pace because one, we're seeing increased employment, and two, you're dip they're dipping into savings and credit. And when, when the savings and credit run out, they're gonna have, people are gonna have to tighten their belts. So are we in a recession or not? Well, we've had two economies. Two, two quarters of negative economic growth, very slight reduction, 1.6% and an annual rate and a 0.8% annual rate. That's not massive. So are we or are we not in a recession? I would argue technically yes. Severe one, no. But none of them's good because we got serious challenges. We got massive deficit spending that's driving inflation. We got, uh, map, you know, printing all, all this money, but you got elevated fuel prices because issues of supply and demand. Old sleepy creepy Joe there decided we're going to shut down the Keystone pipeline so we can't move oil easier and cheaper. I'm, we're going to not have more natural gas leases, which meant the speculators had to run out and try and secure their energy, secure other energy supplies ahead of time. And they're looking, these guys got to look years out. So we got a bunch of stuff that isn't looking good. Doesn't look like a strong economy, that's for damn sure. But definitions matter. And I can't you know, look at the right and say we're not 
guilty. Definition of assault rifle. As, you know, we say assault is an action, not a thing. Well, it's a description. When you say assault rifle, there is a technical definition. And it's nothing that's a civilian legal as it is. It's a select fire weapon, mid, mid caliber, and a box, a detachable box magazine. The select fire makes it illegal anyway. Semi-automatic assault right weapon is a colloquial term. It's not a proper term, not a technical term. In some of these laws Democrats are passing, as I discussed in yesterday's video, yeah, it defines what a, se a semi-automatic assault weapon is. And some of those vary depending on what state. The common definition is a semi-automatic rifle with a bunch of offensive features that aren't going to stop a crime getting rid of those features. You got... Back to the LBGTQ Orwellian side of things. Biden is trying to call it abusive to say, maybe we shouldn't give a 12-year-old drugs. Trying to call those laws abusive. How's it abuse to say a 12-year-old is not mature enough to make decisions that are life-altering? Their definition of getting rid of, they say they want to get rid of conversion, dangerous conversion therapy. You ever think that, that somebody's saying, maybe you're not really a girl, young man. Maybe you're getting a lot of crap from the media and you don't want to cut your nuts off because you might want to have kids one day. Maybe you should realize, you got to understand that your puberty is not a disease. It's natural. Go through it, then make a decision. There's an article by a gal by the name of Nadine Smith, trying to call it abuse. Do not expose children to sexually explicit materials and books trying to normalize all that stuff. She's trying to call it abu that abuse. It doesn't sound like abuse to me. So, you know, it would seem to me that Sending kids to a drag show, which is sexually explicit, is abuse. So changing the words, the definitions or does not change reality. I mean, you can at least, I mean, and we're not ta talking all LBGTQ people. There is a group that of LBGTQ Republicans. I don't know if it's the, let me look here. Uh, I don't think it's, oh, yeah, it is Log Cabin Republicans. Log Cabin Republicans are supporting Ron DeSantis' position because kids shouldn't be doing that stuff. They're LBGTQ plus whatever. But they're saying this is not right. I'll leave a link to the description. Newsmax actually covered it. There'll be links to, in the description to some of this stuff. You know, we've all heard them try and use the word minor attracted persons to describe people that think they should get a date on the playground. Uh, and I don't mean with, you know, the single moms. Those people have a word, it starts with P, and it's the only word that should be used. You shouldn't be having a TED Talk. I want to know why, if YouTube wants to censor something, why don't they censor the TED Talk of someone saying that those people should be called... Minor attracted persons or maps. Excuse me, I just realized I got the camera just slightly off center. There we go. Catch in the lobe of the divider here. Minor attracted person. Yeah. That's not what they're called. Let's see YouTube take down that TED talk and say and ban that person. This is all Orwellians, changing the definitions, telling you what you think, so they can create thought crimes. And try and affect social change that way. Because it's not much different than gaslighting. And you say, oh, that's not what we mean by that. You know, socialism has a definition. 
had a guy when I was running the Republican fair booth one year said, what's socialism? I said, well, according to dictionary.com, it is the control of or ownership of the means of production uh, by the collective or the distribution of wealth. Control of the distribution of wealth. And he goes, no, it's not. I literally, I think I gave right verbatim what dictionary.com have had. And I might have been slightly off there in my exact wording, but it was government control, uh, control or ownership of either the means of production or the distribution of wealth. Gave him that exact definition. He says, no, it's not. Well, then what is it? I had, I had one guy I used to work with. Oh, it's just people being social. It's people working together. Uh, dude. Corporations do that. People do it all the time in capitalism. It's called being engaging in voluntary action. But you want to start change, playing games with definitions to suit your agenda instead of just using the word the way it's supposed to be used. If what you want is, a, is just a welfare state and high taxes, say what you want is social democracy because that's what they call it. Or call it, say that you want high taxes and a welfare state. That's not Orwellian. That's being honest. Say what you want. And if you think age of consent laws are something wrong, I think can you, I, we can find a place for you to go that's a island out in the middle of nowhere and we'll just leave you there and maybe drop supplies. Uh, but at least you're being honest about what you want as if trying to, you know, some of this stuff should not be normalized. And changing definitions allows people to, or, to nor, try and normalize it. So this Orwellian crap, we're not going to put up with it. Just, it doesn't work. So, that's kind of tonight's rant. You know, it, 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 you know there, it, definitions of words matter. And this is literally the reason that originalism is what should be in the courts. Because you take the word for what it meant then. Because when a law is written, somebody has an expected meaning to that word. And being able to just suddenly say, you know what? We don't think that means anything. We don't think, you know, say, when they wrote Title IX to prevent discrimination based on sex and education and sports, they meant you know, your biology. You're either a biological male or you're a biological female. Not, well, you're a biological male, but since you identify as a, you want to think you're a female, we'll put you in with a female cat. No, that's not what they meant. Those words were written down with a specific meaning. And to go and change the definition after the fact is something purely out of 1984. That's where you get people taking this book here out of context. Let's change the meaning of that word and suddenly it can mean anything. And you can say, oh, well, don't judge. Well, that's not what Jesus said. He said, judge, judge not or you will be judged. And by that, and when you read the context, you know that he is talking about the very... A standard that you judge others on, you're the one that's going to be judged by that standard. Because nobody likes a hypocrite. So, let's all stop with the Orwell. And, and like I said, on the right as well. If the colloquial definition of something is, just say what it is. You know, it, you don't have to dance around it. If somebody says it's... A, if, if you got a select fire rifle... It takes a box magazine, fires a mid-range cartridge, and you got your class three weapons license, own it. Say, I got an assault rifle. If we're gonna decide that a semi-automatic assault weapon is semi, or we're gonna say a weapon in general, you know, as a different than rifle and the, the colloquial turn, say, yeah, I got an assault rifle. I got an assault weapon. Screw you, it's my, my right. I have no problem with that. So, 
Let's stop with Orwellian. Let's redefine words. On the right, we don't need to play those games. We don't need to stoop to the left's level. On the left, you're not going to win arguments with us by changing the definition to words. We're going to say, screw you, we're using a real definition. And we're not going to let you redefine it. If you're so proud of your position, own it. If you, if you, if you don't think those people are groomers, say why you don't think they're groomers. Because for all of you running Twitter and Reddit, if you won't give them a word to describe the people that give sexually explicit materials to minors, and you're going to wipe out the word that seems most appropriate by any kind of definition for it, then I would say that you yourselves are probably one of those people. All the way up, including your CEO. He is captain of the ship. And that is the Saturday Night Rant, because I am tired of this redefining word scrap. That said, there won't be a Saturday Night Rant uh, next week. I'm doing some Subak Do stuff, uh, which will not include making political videos. Uh, but I may get a video out later this week if I have time, and I do got to get more done on organizing this place that is my home. Uh, I do need to... And then so on. So it may not be until I might get something out later in the week. We will see. Until then, you all take care.